Hey guys, it's time for Quick Hitters, your fastest three minutes in sports right here on Chat Sports. I'm Jordan Giorgio. Let's go ahead and get into the top headlines going on right now. Into college football last night, the new college football playoff rankings were released. Let's take a look at your new top 10. The defending champs, the Clemson Tigers, are the new number one team in the nation. But the ranking that is getting the most attention is Auburn at number two, who scored their second win over a top-ranked team by taking down the Crimson Tide, who dropped down to number five. Oklahoma is number three, followed by Wisconsin and Alabama. Georgia sits at number six, followed by Miami, who falls to seven after their heartbreaking loss to Pitt. And to round out the top ten is Ohio State, Penn State, and USC. Well, it's conference championship week, meaning there's one last round of chaos that can occur before the committee makes their final playoff selections. Let's get into those matchups going on this week. In the SEC, the Georgia Bulldogs will be taking on number two Auburn, who beat Georgia in the regular season 40 to 17. The reigning champs will be taking on the Miami Hurricanes in the ACC championship. The Buckeyes will be battling it out with Jonathan Taylor and the undefeated Badgers to claim the Big Ten title. We've got another rematch, though, where the Sooners will be taking on the TCU Horned Frogs in the Big, Ten, Big 12 championship. Oklahoma beat TCU in the regular season 38-20. And in the Pac-12, Stanford will be taking on the USC Trojans. The committee will make their final playoff selections this Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern time, and I will be there the moment they are revealed so you don't want to miss it. And right here on Chat Sports is the only place on Facebook Live you can watch the rankings be released. So don't forget, 12 p.m. Eastern time this Sunday. Moving on to your NFL fix. For the first time since 2004, the New York Giants have a new starting quarterback. Head coach Ben McAdoo announced yesterday that he will start Geno Smith instead of Eli Manning in Week 13 against the Oakland Raiders. Eli fought back the tears in the locker room when he addressed the media after hearing the news. Take a listen. How hard is this hitting you emotionally? It's hard. We'll hang in there and figure it out. Hardest, hardest day as a Giant? Uh, it's up there, yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you might have started your last game for the Giants? I don't know. No, I, I, I don't know. Or I'll uh, take it one, one week at a time. Have you spoken to anyone besides Ben about the decision, Jerry or John or anyone like that? I uh, spoke with Jerry Reese a little bit, and uh, 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 Mr. Mayor had you know, he, he hadn't been in uh, today, and uh, but you know he knows what's going on, and uh, we'll probably try to speak with him tomorrow sometime. Let's now get into all your NBA action from last night. LeBron James was ejected for the first time in his 15-year career during the Cavaliers' 108 to 97 win over the Miami Heat. James was tossed with 159 remaining in the third quarter after getting a steal, dribbling up court, and missed a layup, then argued with the referee that heat forward James Johnson fouled him on the attempt. Here's a quick recap of the rest of your scores from your last night NBA action. So that's all the time I have for you guys today. Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Jordan Giorgio. I'll see you next time.